I'm going to show you how simple it is to produce margin maps within MySoil. The first thing to do is to enter the field management tool from the right hand toolbar. It's important to ensure you've selected the correct crop year for the year you wish to analyse from the drop down box. You can then filter down by farm, crop and variety to find your desired fields. Then simply select edit and you'll be provided with the basic information for your fields including a calculated yield which is the yield value determined from the data you've supplied us. To produce margin maps you'll need to input financial data by flicking the switch to yes you'll see you get an additional three columns added to your table. The fixed costs are worked out dependent on your rent, machinery and depreciation. You'll need to input your variable costs which might include crop protection products, fertilizer and seed and finally crop sale value which is simply the pounds per tonne for which you sold your crop. To input or change any of these values you can select all the fields using the tick in the top of the table which will allow you to set one value across all of the fields. Once you've inputted your data simply select save and you'll be redirected to your business homepage. You can then select your desired fields either by collecting them on the map or ticking them from the table and then you'll need to enter map view and using the layer selector in the top right hand corner select margin maps as your layer type and confirm view. You'll see your selected fields appear. You can select one year's worth of data to analyze or multiple years worth of data to analyze. Once you've selected the appropriate years, click analyze data and you'll produce the map. The first map is for crop income. This is simply worked out by using the pounds per ton for which you sold your crop multiplied by your yield. You can use the histogram to filter down your data to find your highest and lowest performing areas of the field. You'll notice that as you move the histogram, the areas for each part of the field will change depending on how much of the field falls within your range. You can then move to the gross margin tab, which takes into account your income minus your variable costs. And again, you can use the histogram to filter down and deeper analyze your data. Final tab is for net margin which is worked out using your gross margin minus your fixed costs. This provides you with information as to the pounds per hectare that each part of your field makes you or potentially loses you over the period selected. You can use the layer inspector tool to further drill down into the data to see the values of your crop income, gross margin and net income at any specific point within the field. And that is how simple it is to produce margin maps within MySoil.